Hello, Justine. Thank you for coming to this interview today. Happy, happy to have you. Um, okay, so just generally, I'd like to start off with giving the interviewee a chance to tell me a little bit about yourself. Okay. I describe myself as patient and understanding. Um, for the past three years, I've interned in an elementary school in a second grade classroom. And in that classroom, there's a diverse group of children. Some of them have uh, learning disabilities. Some of them have really bad behavioral issues. And through my experience there, I've learned that the, the best way to approach situations like that is to take their ability, their environment, and their feelings into consideration and give them as much time as they need to learn something uh, efficiently. And while they're trying to do that, I try my best to um, give, it to, uh, give the information to them in the most direct, thorough way. Um, that the way that they can comprehend. That's best. a great, uh, great way of looking at education. Um, okay, next question. Can you tell me um, a little bit about a past work or internship experience that you've had? Sure. Uh, like I said, I've interned at the elementary school. Uh, some of the things I've done last year, I actually I taught the entire science unit for the year. It was a life It was about the life cycle of earthworms. And I've also administered state reading tests, I've tutored the kids, and I've acted kind of as a counselor when, when there was nobody for them to talk to, and just the effects of me being there to talk through things with them was great. I've also interned at Big Brothers Big Sisters of the Ocean State, which provides mentoring to kids. It's an organization that provides mentoring to kids. And I, I did some clerical work, and I called potential mentors for references, and um, I also helped around the office and attended some meetings. So. Wonderful. Um, let's see, so I imagine through those internships, those, um, those experiences you've had, you've worked on a team. Can you talk a little bit about a time where you worked well on a team with others? Sure. Um, for the past three years, I've been a part of the American Cancer Society's Relay for Life. And I've helped run a lot of fundraisers, and I've spent a lot of my volunteer hours at uh, team and committee meetings. And I really think that my contribution helped make the team stronger. One time um, at the actual event where we walk around the track, there was somebody, somebody on our team that was in a wheelchair. And we all had to take turns pushing her, and I feel that all of us contributing helped it a lot, helped it run more smoothly. And yeah, when I'm on a team, I try to contribute as much as I can while learning as much as I can from the other people. Perfect, it's a great response. Thank you. Um, could you tell me about a time where you felt maybe a little overburdened, you had a lot of things on your plate, and you had to prioritize, um, prioritize your tasks? OK. Um, last year, I, I, was ha I had to give an, ex uh, an exhibition of my work. And at the same time, I had also had a college course, and I was taking a language course at another place. And I had a lot of work to do for all three of them, all jam-packed in one weekend. So I, I prioritized them by a uh, level of importance in the long run. So I figured that since I needed to pass this college class in order to graduate school, I'd work on the college work first. Mm -hmm. And I figured that the, the exhibition of my work would be the next most important thing, and that the studying the my extra curricular activity mm -hmm. is really the least important in the long run. So that's how I prioritize things. Great, great. No, that's a good approach. Um, thank you. Let's see. Could you uh, could you tell me about a time where you feel like you went above and beyond the the call of duty and how you handled that situation? Okay. Um, at the elementary school, one day I had walked in and I saw that the teacher, uh, my mentor, wasn't there. And the kids had walked in, she still wasn't there. And t uh, I helped get the class situated before I called down the uh, called the office. Mm -hmm. And by then it had been about 15 minutes. And they said that they'd send a substitute as soon as they could, but I was teaching the entire class for a half an hour as an intern, so I, I had to take on all the duties of the teacher, so. 
Well, that's well done. Um, well, I guess this kind of goes along with that in many ways, but um, could you tell me about a time when you worked effectively under pressure? Okay. I think I work best under pressure when I'm on a time crunch. I have a lot of things to do. I feel like I do them more efficiently because I have a lot on my plate. Like, if I don't have a lot on my plate, I feel like I can just shrug it off and I can get it done later, but a lot of things at once will help me a lot. So. Great. Um, could you maybe discuss an example of a time when you showed initiative in completing a task? Sure. Um, while I was at my internship at the elementary school, uh, the teacher the teacher had a lot of personal things going on in her family and she had a lot of tasks to do was that time of the school year where they had to do a lot of testing and all that so she had her mind on a lot of things at once mm -hmm. and um, she was preoccupied with something and the kids had been sitting in the, uh, by themselves for a while with no tasks so I stepped in and I knew what was supposed to be be going on then mm -hmm. so I ran it and without being asked, no push. So. Just did it, exactly. Yeah. Um, that's a great example. Thank you for sharing that. Um, just one more question, um, kind of a closing question, and that is if there's anything else um, that you would like to share with us about you today. Okay. Um, well, I applied for the um, position as babysitter's assistant. Mm -hmm. So I just think it would be helpful for you guys to know that I have a sister who's 10 years younger than me. Mm -hmm. So I kind of helped bring her up, raise her, you know. I did, uh, I helped with all the stuff while she, when she was a baby mm -hmm. and to this age. And again, with the elementary school, as I said, some of them have um, intellectual disabilities and stuff like that. So some of them are at the, uh, the de 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 developmental stages of mm -hmm. the kids that are at the daycare. So I think that the experience has oh, helped me a lot. Absolutely. That's definitely useful information. Um, listen, uh, Justine, thank you very much for coming in today. It was a thank great you. interview, and we'll see you again.